We're live. Hey guys, welcome to this webinar. Uh, my name is Dave Nicholson, and I'm here with my good friend John Thornhill. Are you there, John? I am here very, very late. <laughs> I had technical issues, <laughs> guys. I've literally been in this room about 40 seconds. That's why I were a touch late. I just could not get in. Error messages, panicking, all that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I'm here at last. Yeah, you're good at breaking things, aren't you, John? <laughs> <laughs> we're also, we're also um, here with uh, Ryan and Tanner, and we've got some awesome content for you here. So make sure you take notes. You're going to love this, guys. And in case you don't know Ryan and Tanner, I'm sure they'll introduce themselves. I'm not going to go on for ages. We're going to want to, want to get right into the, the meat of this uh, webinar. Um, but basically, uh, Tanner is the co-founder of BGS, and he's a seven-figure Amazon FBA seller. Uh, Ryan, he's been online since 2003, and he's got over 50 staff, and he sells hundreds of products on Amazon, and he's generated millions in sales. Um, so without further ado, we're not going to, like I say, we're not going to beat about the bush. We want to get right into the meat of this uh, and listen to what these guys tell you guys because it is all awesome stuff. It's awesome stuff. Uh, I'm going to be taking notes myself because <laughs> I'm no Amazon expert uh, and I'm hoping to learn a lot on this webinar as well as you guys. Okay, so Ryan and Tana, are you there, guys? We're here. We are here. Thanks, guys. Go for it. Awesome. Okay, well, thanks, guys, for the intro. Uh, I just want to make sure before we get too far into it that everybody can hear us. This is Tanner talking. Let me know you can hear me, and then Ryan say something so they can see if they hear you. Hey, guys, it's Ryan. Just please let us know inside that questions box if you can hear us. Awesome. Ah, Hale. Good to have you, buddy. All right. Cool. Okay, yes, we can. All right, guys, so... We have an action-packed webinar. I know you probably see people say that a lot, but we have a ton of slides, ton of material to go through with you, and want to make sure you guys are on point with us. Ryan and I are going to be switching off back and forth as we go through this presentation, so make sure you guys are paying attention, have any other browser windows open, close them now, and put your cell phones on silent so we can actually teach you some of the cool stuff we've been doing with Amazon. All right? So if you guys are ready to go, Go ahead and give me a one in the chat box. I want to make sure everybody's here. They can see the screen. They're ready to go. Just, just type in one, and we'll get rocking. One, 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 one. Okay, here we go. So let's get a sound break real quick. Hey, guys. Welcome to the Five Pillars to Seven Figures webinar. We're going to show you how we build a successful, profitable, and sustainable Amazon FBA business and how you can, too. So what we're going to demonstrate in the five pillars is we're going to show you how we've built a business that sells over $1.2 million a month in physical products on Amazon. Okay, So there's a lot of guys out there that can say, hey, I sell on Amazon, I do this, I do that, that's great. The proof we're going to be showing you, the system we're going to be showing you is responsible for $1.2 million a month in sales. So the point of it is it's a proven system and it works and it works really, really well. So it's not some half-baked theory or I sold a thousand dollars one time and you know I'm doing okay whatever no this is a real business all right so who are we so my, I'm Tanner I'm over here on the on the left hand side and there's Lois my business partner and then Ryan and his business partner Daniel now the four of us are widely considered as leaders in the Amazon and e-commerce space we have a combined over 30 years of online business experience from Amazon to e-commerce to search engine optimization pay-per-click affiliates drop shipping, wholesaling, funnels, conversion optimization, you name it, we've done it all. And for the past two years or so, we've been really dedicated to growing a massive physical products business that currently sells well over 100 unique products in a variety of different niches through several marketing channels. We love Amazon, but we also sell through other channels as well. Now, physical products, guys, there's nothing new about them, right? We have been selling online since there was an online. You know, first you bought physical products in the store. Then you bought physical products in the store and through direct mail. Then you bought physical products in the store through direct mail and online. They've been selling forever. We buy them every single day. I mean, every one of us probably bought some kind of physical widget or gizmo or snack or something today, right? But what is new in the physical product market is the ability to enter the market, the ability to get out there and actually sell a physical product, the ability to scale your business and the ease of sale and fulfillment, as well as dramatically increased profitability. Even a few years ago, these four things were very hard to do. The ability to enter a market, the, the barrier to entry was much higher. 
you had to start with much higher uh, initial order quantities and the cost of products were more. Profit margins were way lower. Uh, the ability to sell the product and fulfill it to the customer, ship it to the customer was much, much harder. You had to do it all by hand and now there's systems in place and there's processes and there's platforms out there that make it easy for you to do all this stuff as a one person shop and never actually have to touch the product. So this is, you know, one of the most exciting things about the physical product space and why e-commerce has been making such a huge comeback. And because of that, physical product sales are exploding, I mean, blowing up across all sectors. Here's a, thing, here's a chart or an infographic that shows that global e-commerce sales are going to reach around $1.2 trillion this year. Okay, if we look at it across the major markets in the world, you know, North America, 400 billion, Western Europe, 200 billion, basically it all gets smaller after that, but the two biggest ones are North America and Asia Pacific, right? The important thing here is that Amazon is selling actively in all of these markets with their own Amazon dot something platform except for in the Middle East and Africa, and they're actually working on those platforms right now. Amazon's online sales just by themselves dwarf the competition. So this is from 2013. I know we're in 2015 now. They haven't updated this graphic, but this is still shows how crazy things are. So in 2013, Amazon's revenue was 67.9 billion, which if you look at the other nine competitors, they don't even add up to equal the same that Amazon hits, okay? In 2014, Amazon went from 67 to 88 billion dollars in revenue. In 2015, they're well on track to do over a hundred billion dollars in revenue, okay? And the other thing to understand here, in terms of global sales, Amazon is still less than one percent of all global e-commerce sales. So what I'm saying here, guys, is this is a massive, massive opportunity in the physical product sales category online. It's, they're just, it's exploding. So how and why is Amazon growing so fast? Well, the people always go, oh, well, Jeff Bezos. Well, it actually has absolutely zero to do with Jeff Bezos. Jeff is the guy who founded Amazon.com on a napkin, right? He's the one that created it, made it happen. But this growth really has nothing to do with him other than some ideas that he's generated. So it has everything to do with people like you and I. So TechCrunch is a large blogging platform, a newswire um, agency that pushes out a lot of you know, very tech-related uh, content and news. So Amazon reported on TechCrunch that third-party sellers on its site sold a record-breaking two billion items in 2014, and their adoption of Amazon's fulfillment services also grew by 65% year over year. According to Amazon, there are now over two million sellers worldwide which account for over 40% of the total units sold on Amazon. Now, third-party sellers are people like you and I who use the Amazon platform to sell their products. And the Amazon Fulfillment Service is also known as FBA, Fulfilled by Amazon. So we're shipping our products to Amazon FBA, and Amazon selling it through their platform. That's the third-party sellers like you and I that are actually accounting for over 40% of all the units sold on Amazon. Now, we just talked about Amazon being, you know, a hundred billion dollar re uh, revenue generator. That only accounts for Amazon sales and Amazon's cut of third party sales. It doesn't even account for all of the sales generated by the Amazon third party sellers because the money that gets paid to the sellers, us, doesn't get counted in Amazon's global revenue. So it's an even bigger number that Amazon gets to represent. And it's all because of people like you and I. Now there is a massive problem though. Anytime you have a hot opportunity like Amazon or physical products or anything like that, course creators come out of the woodwork all of a sudden and they become experts in whatever that hot opportunity is. So, you know, we saw it happen with AdSense. Everybody became an AdSense expert and began selling AdSense courses. We saw it with direct linking and SEO and everything else. Every time there's something hot, people jump out of the woodwork, create a course on it because they think they're experts. They really don't know anything. Okay? Most marketers, in honest, all honesty, can't even spell FBA. Now we have no problem, I want to clear, clear the air on this, we have no problem with people teaching what they know if they actually know it and more importantly they actually do it. There's nothing worse in my mind than a person who creates a product based on theory and sells it to others as fact. All right? Now most of the people selling physical product courses fall into one of three categories. Number one, they know how to sell physical products in theory only. You know, they've researched it, they put a course together and they started selling it. That's about 60% of the marketplace, unfortunately. 
there's another group that has sold enough physical products for proof of concept, which is good enough in their mind to go out and start teaching others. Okay, this is where they, they go out, they sell a product or 10 or 12, and they're like, cool, I know how it works, now I can teach you how to do it. That's about 30% of the marketplace. The remaining 10% are the ones that are actually doing it and can provide great training. We, don't, we love these kind of guys because we learn from them as well. The problem is they usually charge an arm and a leg for their training, okay? This is the reality of the marketplace. This, this kind of fills in everybody, okay? Now, let's be honest. It was because of the first two types of people in the marketplace, the theory sellers and the proof of concept sellers, that the four of us actually decided to release this workshop. Why? Well, because what good is it for us to talk crap about the problems in the marketplace and the other sellers and the other courses that are out there, which we've done, uh, if we don't have a legitimate and better solution to offer? So basically, if we can't put our money where our mouth is, who are we to talk about anything else that's out there in the marketplace? And we do. We do have a better solution and a better offer, and we know what we're doing. And right now, we're going to share that whole system with you. So I want you guys to know that we walk the walk. I'm not going to show you these stats to brag or anything. I just want you to see what's happening here. So what you see here are just six different Amazon seller accounts that we operate. You can see the last 30 days, 74,000 in this one, 210,000 in this one, 468,000 in this one, 384,000 in this one, 135,000, 56,000. This is only six of the different niches and businesses that we own. We currently operate over 20 different Amazon businesses, guys. We walk the walk. Here is one product that sold, you know, just until you know April of this year, $506,000 in product sales, 1,200,000 units, almost 13,000 units, and this is a neglected brand. Okay, we'll talk about what that means in a second. This is one we just don't focus on, and this product has basically a 53% net margin, which means over $260,000 in our pocket. Now, the thing about this, guys, is it, it's very easy to gross a lot of money. Very easy to make a ton of sales. What's actually important is how much you keep. And you know, we build a you know high 40s to low 50% margin in almost every single product that we sell, and we keep the lion's share of the money that we make. And that's what's the most important thing. And here's another one that's done about a million dollars in sales in you know just into up until April. Okay, this one puts about five hundred thousand dollars in our pot in our excuse me in our pockets afterwards. All right. And again, it's a 46% net margin. These kind of margins were not available even just a few years ago because the barrier to entry and everything else, the, the technology hasn't advanced to this point yet. But because of Amazon and the way things are now in the marketplace and the ability to find and source product cheaply, we can do this, okay? And you can too. Now, we also sell internationally. It's, not, it's one thing to sell in the US. On Amazon.com, it's easy. It's, you get set up and people can figure it out. But we sell all over the world. We sell on Amazon.co.uk. We sell on Amazon.ca, Amazon Japan, all over the world. Okay, here's one of our Amazon accounts that translates into about $335,000 uh, again and 14,000 units sold. So again, the whole point of this is that we walk the walk. We actually know what we're doing and can back up what we're telling you. So let me ask you a question. Would you like to have some Amazon accounts generating these type of sales or even, even a tenth of these kind of sales? How many of you guys would love that? Go ahead and type it in the chat real quick. Would you guys like that? Even if you are a 90% failure and you can have just 10% of the success that we're showing you right here, would you guys love that? Of course you would. That'd be, it'd be nuts to say no, right? Now here's a little bit more proof that we walk the walk. This is a picture of Ryan and Daniel's office in the Philippines. They have right now about 50 some odd employees that do nothing but work on their Amazon brands. Now they didn't start out this way. They started out as a smaller, you know, one man show and they started building it up and building it up and building it up because they wanted to build a massive, massive company. Los and I, that's it. Our, our Amazon brands are just run by Los and I. It's a very small operation, you know, comparative to Ryan and Daniel's because our goals were different with Amazon. But the reality is, Ryan and Daniel would not be able to employ this many people and teach their system to over 50 different employees if it didn't work and it wasn't duplicatable. So again, this is kind of the proof that we're showing you here. Also, we actually meet with suppliers. We go, we travel the world and we actually do this. It's not like we're just sitting in our office in our houses doing this. Ryan and Daniel actually live in the Philippines and I mean, they're always international, but they travel all over the world meeting with suppliers, going to factories, going to warehouses all the time, seeing what's going on. What you can see here is, this is Ryan right here hugging his little heart-shaped pillow, 
because he loves hearts. <laughs> and there he is again visiting with a manufacturer in the U.S. Uh, Dan, there's Daniel at a packaging supplier in China, and this was Daniel talking with some of their employees in China that they used to have. So again, guys, more proof that we literally do what we say, and we do it on such a l large scale that we truly are experts at what we're telling you. We also host training conferences all over the place where we're doing high-end training, teaching people how to build their Amazon business, how to build their online businesses, and really get going. There's Los and I running some of our masterminds that we do. Uh, over here is another one of our big events, and then at the bottom there's Ryan and Daniel hosting one of their Cabo Amazon masterminds. Okay, and these events sell out, guys. But what I wanted to show you with that, again, was just here's the truth, here's who we are, and we back it up and we can walk the walk. But what you're actually going to learn during this workshop, okay, is how to protect yourself from market saturation and give yourself a competitive advantage against a competitor. This is worth six figures to your bottom line, and it's one of the things that everybody complains about. They're like, well, what do I do if there's a competitor? Or what do I do? How is the market too saturated? What do I do if it's a saturated market? We're going to show you. We're going to show you our simple research method for dialing in on those golden nugget products that are perfect for private labeling. And we're going to give you the exact techniques that we've used to build a $5,000 profit per day business. This is just one product, one little product business. We have a lot of these, but I'm going to show you one specific one that's very near and dear to my heart. And then we're going to show you the five pillars that are responsible for creating sustainability and long-term growth using Amazon FBA. You get these right, you're basically halfway there. And we're going to show you our product kickstart campaign that will build your initial review base and jumpstart your Amazon search rankings. Okay, we're going to cover all of that during the rest of this workshop. So we're going to show you how to do things like this. Here's what it looks like when we kickstart a new product. As you can see, we took a new product and we moved it up to number one in the movers and shakers category. So our overall sales rank in Amazon Sports and Outdoors was ranked number 57, where previously, earlier that day, we were totally unranked. And we're selling a $100 product, guys, not some little $10 thing. So 121 units sold, and 11, almost $12,000 in sales, and we just launched to the top of the category. Okay, and it, sales kept pouring in after that. Here's what it, the growth curve looked like. It started out about 5 a.m., there were no sales, and then by 6 a.m., it was like a rocket, okay? And it just kept going, all right? So this is what it looks like when you kickstart a product correctly. And we can show you exactly how we do this over and over and over again. And, of course, a whole lot more. So why is this important to you right now? Well, most Amazon stuff on the market is way overpriced, it's outdated, or it's just straight up wrong. And with Amazon's incredible growth, the marketplace has changed. What used to work, the old Wild West of Amazon, doesn't cut it anymore. This is a whole new market. And there is no easier way to build a business right now online than with physical products selling through Amazon. Now, that is our opinion, but we back that up by the fact that we've built businesses in almost every other category online. And this is by far the easiest. Amazon is also just the starting point. We will show you how to expand. The bottom line, though, guys, is the game has changed and people are getting left behind. And we're going to show you how to not be one of those people who gets left behind. So is this training for you? If you want financial freedom, yeah, it's for you. You want time freedom, this is for you. You want the flexibility of working from home, you're not tired of going to a job, then yeah, might, this might be for you. If you want to be your own boss, this is for you. If you want to secure your retirement, you want to build a real sustainable business, or if you're worried about competition because of Amazon sellers out there that are already established, this is 100% for you because we're going to show you how to bypass all of that and actually get what you want out of the business you build. So there are a few rules. This is not a get-rich-quick program. We don't believe in that crap. This is going to take work and it's going to take hard work. It's not complicated, but it does take work. It's not for tire kickers who are just going to sit there and procrastinate. You're not going to do nothing and get paid. This is going to take work. And there's no magic push-button software that's going to do all the work for you and fairies, rainbows, and unicorns are going to come down from the sky. Not going to happen. Our results that we're showing you aren't remotely typical. But again, guys, if you are a 90% failure compared to our results, that's still a very nice chunk of change Okay, every month. And the truth is that most people who buy any how-to-make-money training aren't going to make any money with it because the reality of that situation is that most people won't even complete the training, let alone act on it. So we're going to give you the system right now, and we're saying this because we're, we just speak from the heart and we talk the truth, that 
we're going to give this to you and we want you to use it. So we're trying to scare you right now so you're going to be that person who goes, screw that, I'm going to use it. And that's what we want. We want you to use the training that we're going to show you right this second. So over the last several years, we started to develop our own system to grow in our Amazon businesses even faster. And the results, they speak for themselves. Here's the 3 million, almost 4 million, 3.7 million dollars in results in just one year, okay, from one account. Here's $194,000 in sales from just one single product, okay, in a month, one product per month, okay, that's just it. One product selling almost $200,000 from one account, okay. We're going to share that system with you right now. So let me introduce to you the five pillars of Amazon FBA. Actually, I'm going to turn it over to let Ryan introduce these pillars to you because he's a little bit more fun to listen to when it comes to this stuff. Awesome, guys, and I'm just going to be sharing my screen here. And while I'm doing that, can you just verify real quick that you can hear me loud and clear so that I know I can get started? And Tanner, maybe let me let me yep. know if you guys can see my I screen can hear you as just well. Fine. If you start your presentation. Boom, All right, so let's go ahead and uh, dive into these pillars. So introducing the five pillars of Amazon FBA. So first pillar is research. I'm going to just highlight these real quick, and then I'm going to dig deep into each one. Number two is product selection and sourcing. This is where a lot of people get really held up. And number three is design and brand creation. And then number four is Amazon product setup. And uh, number five is promotion. This is traffic. This is where kind of the rubber meets the road. If you don't get the traffic that you need, you can actually make sales. So let's dig in. Pillar number one, research. So there's some major common misconceptions. So a lot of people think that the only way to find products is to look at the Amazon top 100 list and find, okay, these are the best selling products on Amazon. I should sell one of these. Well, that's what everyone else does, and that causes lots of competition, and it causes instances where you get people selling the exact same thing. And we've got some perfect examples of that where people are selling, thousands of different people are selling the exact same grill gloves, where you simply have these heat-resistant grill gloves, and that's because people followed blindly other people's advice that wasn't very good. So we're going to show you how to avoid this and how to find the right products to sell. A lot of people also think that you need to have a product that has a low price, you know, this kind of impulse price. And, you know, most commonly people think of I'm walking in the grocery store and I'm checking out and there's all these products that are impulse purchases. Well, you can sell products that are impulse purchases, but we believe in selling high quality premium products so that we can have a very high profit margin and we provide more value for those actual products. And the other misconception is that you can only make real money if you sell in certain categories. Nothing can be further from the truth. We sell in a wide range of categories from sports and outdoors to beauty to kitchen to toys to, I mean, tons and tons of different categories. You name it, we're most likely in that particular category. Now I have three questions for you. I want you to think about right now some of the things that you know, you're passionate about. What are you passionate about in your life? For me, I love rock climbing. I love the outdoors. I love hiking. Right now I'm actually putting together and planning a trip with a very good friend of mine to hike Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa. Uh, beginning of next year, you know, Tanner is a, you know, he loves um, competitive shooting and just kind of shooting in general. We have these passions and things that kind of like really, you know, um, ignite us in life. And it's great if you can actually look at finding one of these passions and start to build your business around that. And that leads me into the second question. You know, what could you build a brand around that you're passionate about? Now, I want you guys, um, we have a lot of uh, engagement in this call, so I'd love for you to just let me know in the actual questions box a few of the things that you're actually passionate about. You know, like I said, for me, it's rock climbing. For a lot of other people, it might be stuff like yoga, cooking. Um, you know, some people are really passionate about technology, and uh, we've got people saying cycling. People are really passionate about boxer dogs, travel, sewing. Yeah, all of these are great. 
And I want you to think of also what are people buying already on Amazon? This is really, really important. Tanner mentioned that Amazon for us is really just a, one of the platforms that we leverage, but it's always the starting point. And the reason for that is because it allows us to leverage everything that Amazon has. And we'll be talking more about that, but just as a reminder, as Tanner said, Amazon has millions and millions of credit cards on file, and it really is an amazing place for us to actually leverage. So the first thing that we need to do with market research and where a lot of people kind of gloss over here is just remember this is step number one in the pillars, okay? If you don't do a good job on step number one, you can't really expect to do a great job on the rest of the steps because everything builds upon what you're doing here. And we don't like to look at the ready, fire, aim approach. People go, oh, I want to do this product, and they just grab a product, and they're like, my marketing and everything else will take care of the rest. Well, that's really kind of a dumb way of looking at it. You want to be strategic here. You want to separate yourself from the pack. And it's really simple and easy to do. So all I want you to do is I want you to get out a notebook or a piece of paper or a Word document or whatever it is, and then you just start filling it with ideas things that you're passionate about, things that you've purchased recently, you know, things that you've got planned in the near future, all of these different things. I mean, can you imagine if I'm going to go hike Mount Kilimanjaro and be on the mountain for seven to ten days, I'm going to need a lot of different gear. I'm going to need, you know, during the day it could be upwards of 80, 90 degrees Fahrenheit and at night it could be, you know, below zero. Um, and we need to be able to have all different types of gear and these are all different products that I have to buy and I can come up with a lot of ideas that might be able to fit within that particular niche for me to actually sell. The other thing that's really, really easy to do is you have so much data at your fingertips with Google and just the internet in general and if I'm really interested in mountaineering or if I'm really interested in yoga, all I need to do is go and start looking and finding some of these top websites. Yoga is the perfect example. Well, I can go to yoga.com and I can go look for um, search yoga in Google and see what are the top sites. You know, Prana, Gaiam, uh, Lululemon, all of these big brands. I can see and start looking at their website. And all I want to do is I want to make note of what are the best products that they're selling. What are the uh, best-selling products they have, what are the new products that they have. I can start to keep track of all of these things. What products are they emailing me about? If I get on their email list, are they emailing me about yoga mats? Are they emailing me about yoga blocks? What are they really focusing on? What's kind of their gateway product? And then I can look at top magazines. This is another old-school but proven tactic. I've been using this for the better part of a decade to find ideas. You can look in magazines and just flip through them. You can go to the bookstore if you can find one. You know, nowadays it's a little bit harder to find a bookstore, but um, you can still find bookstores. Or you can even go online, magazines.com, and you can just start looking through magazines and seeing what are people advertising in these magazines. What are the products that they're talking about? Are they talking about you know, the same type of product over and over in different issues of the magazine or multiple magazines. And I also like to pay attention to the marketing that the other companies are doing to market their products, the colors that they're using, how they're kind of packaging the products and picturing them, because this all can give me ideas. The whole idea here is that you're spending 20, 30 minutes or however long you would like to get a bunch of ideas and notes on a particular market. And then you can leverage that information to start to validate if this is going to be a good market for you. A lot of people just immediately start on Amazon and begin a validation process. And that could work sometimes, and, it, and I will say it certainly has worked in the past. Nowadays, though, we take a much more holistic approach and we look for these other things because then we see where the opportunity is not only just on Amazon but off Amazon as well. So here's a few things that you need to ask yourself as you're going through this process and creating ideas for products and really writing these down. 
we always like to look for products in general that are lightweight, they're easy to ship, something that's going to be hard to break, and low cost. And then obviously something that you can private label. So I'd like to know, if you are not familiar with what private labeling is, please just let me know by giving me a one in the actual questions box. And if you are familiar, just give me a two. And I'd really like to you know, get everybody actually engaging in this so that I can actually see. So I can say, okay, so great. So it looks like lots of people know what it is. So just a just to recap for anybody that may not know, private labeling is simply when you actually go out there and find a product that a company is already manufacturing. And the perfect example is you look at grocery stores or even something like Walmart, one of the largest companies in the world, and they sell a brand of groceries called Great Value. And that might be everything from frozen lasagna to a can of peas. Um, and that is branded as great value. And what that is, is Walmart's not actually the manufacturer of that, at least to my knowledge. They're simply private labeling all of these product from the, an actual manufacturer, and they have their own brand. So it's a very, very simple concept, but it's really, really powerful because it allows you to leverage existing products that are being made. Now, there are a few product categories that we encourage you initially to at least avoid. And the reason for that is because these products be can become much more technical and also there's sometimes just no opportunity here. So example, electronics, they're much more technical in nature and while this can be a great thing, the big issue with electronics is that when you're selling something technologically, if, it, if there's any tech issues with it, you're going to have lots of negative reviews and you could have inventory issues. So for your first or maybe even second product, we encourage you to avoid this just so you don't kind of get into that headache and, of potential issues. Obviously books and Kindle books and software and digital downloads, those don't make sense because they don't meet our criteria. We can't private label those. And then jewelry is another one. And the reason why jewelry is here is because jewelry is a little bit more complicated in that you're selling you know, potentially gold, diamonds, etc. And Amazon has much stricter guidelines here. So you can't really get into jewelry right off the bat unless you have an existing maybe brick and mortar jewelry business. But it still can be a very profitable business. You just have to um, give it some time to really understand all the intricacies. So let's talk about some initial validation. I had gone to Amazon and just pulled up a product in the beauty category. This is a product that is for um, people's hair and their you know, scalp treatment. You can see here that the product dimensions. So this is we go to Amazon and we want to search for the product and send, get some validation. So the product dimensions you can see here are 6 by 5 by 4. So you can see it's a small product. It only weighs about 2 ounces or 0.2 ounces. So very, very light. The shipping weight isn't even 1 ounce. And um, you can see it's in the US. But what's important here is I like to go down and look at the average customer reviews. We see here that it's four and a half stars and we've got 731 customer reviews. Now how many of you feel com would feel comfortable purchasing a product that had 731 reviews and almost all five stars? Would, would that make you feel comfortable? Give me a yes inside the, the questions box. And you know, of course it would. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying yes, 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 yes. You know, and the thing here is when you have Amazon, you can get this validation. You see that this is a product that people like. But what a lot of people don't think about is I can actually open up these reviews. And, of course, there's going to be some positive and some negative. And I can look at the negative reviews and see exactly why these people were saying negative things. And these are things that I can take note of add to my market research report and work to improve upon so that I get a competitive advantage. Now the most important thing on this page though is the Amazon best sellers rank. You see here that in the beauty category it's number 341. This is really important because we want to make sure that our product is in the top 3,000 to 5,000 for each of uh, the keywords that we're looking for. So if we're looking at a product here that might be a, a dandruff shampoo or something like that, we want to make sure that it is in the top here. And the reason for that 
is Amazon is giving us some amazing data. They're actually telling us that this product ranks number 341 inside the beauty category. And that means that it is the best-selling product, you know, number 341. And we know that it's making sales. And we know that if it's on average the product is ranking between, you know, less than 5,000 BSR, we can actually start to make some good sales for this particular product. By no means does it need to be in the top 100 to actually make a lot of sales. So is this making sense? Just give me a one or a yes inside the questions box. And as you can tell, we want to keep you guys engaged so that make sure you're learning this so that you can actually go out there and implement it. It's really, really important to us. Okay, awesome. So let's jump into pillar number two. This is product selection and sourcing. And this is where a lot of people get held up because of you know a few different things that we're going to be talking about here. But let's talk about choosing a product to source. So first thing that you want to do is you want to actually reference your market research report. As simple as that may sound, some people forget that they actually spent this time creating this and that it's a good idea for them to actually reference it so that they can get some ideas on how this can help them. And what we want to do is we want to review all the product ideas, the markets, and everything that we have here. And we want to look at the top three to five products that we could actually start sourcing. And from that, we could do a little bit more validation, or we can just kind of start finding the ones that we're most excited about. And the key here is to start sourcing multiple of these products at one time. Now that doesn't mean that you're going to order all of these products. You're not going to order two to three products. You might get samples for them, but we want to start sourcing them because each company is going to have a different time frame. Sometimes you might find a supplier in the United States. Sometimes you might find a supplier overseas. Um, sometimes you might find a supplier that can source all of the products you have, and that makes it way easier. So we want to start sourcing a few different products at the same time because there's going to be different timelines on each one and we want to keep momentum on our side. And the key here is when you start sourcing, all you need to do is open up dialog with the suppliers and then start evaluating your options. The first step is really simple. We actually just simply email our suppliers that we're looking at and we just ask them initially who the best person is on their team to talk to about sourcing product XYZ um, or adding it to your product line. And that way we know we get to the decision maker and the right person right away. And then we actually like to get on the phone with them so that we can communicate. But finding these suppliers is much, much easier than you actually think. Okay, so how many of you guys have heard of Alibaba.com? Just give me a one inside the questions box if you've actually heard of Alibaba. It's a very large company and it's you know, you know, gathered some fame kind of recently because of their large initial public offering and you know, tons of people have heard of them. And they're a great place to find products, but one of their competitors in a similar type site is ttnet.net. And it's my you know, guess that most of you probably have not heard of ttnet. And it's still a great opportunity and a, and a place to find products. But of course there's so many other options and these next four are just an example. You can be very, very creative here, but you can find suppliers just by searching on your favorite search engine, whether that's Bing, Google, 7 Search, or whatever other search engine you might like to use. You can find wholesale suppliers. And when you find wholesale suppliers, you can actually start talking to them about private labeling their products. And oftentimes, they'll do it themselves or they'll know somebody that can private label that product for you. And then also drop shippers. It's the same thing. I started drop shipping years and years ago and I you know, found all these different drop shippers and we had 30 different drop shippers on one site. But some of those people would actually let you pri private label their products. So drop shippers can be a great resource as well. Now, how would you like me to actually go and find a supplier for you live? And um, if we get enough people to just give me a yes inside the questions box, we'll go ahead and actually do this for you live. But we want to make sure that we're in a, you know this is something that you actually want to do. Okay, so it looks like we're getting lots and lots of yeses. So awesome, let's do this. So um, with Tanner's help, I'm going to, if you guys can just 
let me know what niche, what type of product would you like me to find. Just go ahead and comment inside the questions box and um, I will go ahead and find that. So let me pull up Amazon first off. And um, so guys, if you want to just put something in there, otherwise I can just go All ahead right. and... So we've got uh, sporting goods, uh, hunting, duck calls, okay, kitchen, fishing tackle, survival gear. Okay, we can do um, survival gear, I guess. I used to be really into that niche. Um, or do you, want, do you see another one you want me to do, Tanner? Uh, no, that's fine. Okay, so let's just first look at survival gear here on Amazon. I just want to see some of the things that are coming up. So we've got uh, emergency shovel, we've got paracord, um, shelter tube, we've got wire saws, uh, fire starters, all kinds of different things. So I'll go ahead and find a couple of these things. We've got a little Bear Grylls fire starter. You know, we know how high quality that probably is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and just dig in here. So the first place that I'm just going to go, and you can, again, choose whatever you want, but I've, I've pulled Alibaba up here, and, um, you know, I can do a simple search initially if I want and just search survival gear, and I can get different types of things. You can actually see uh, they'll give you different suggestions as well and related searches, but I can start looking through here and see all different types of things. You've got little survival kits, you've got uh, backpacks and all these different types of things. Uh, I can do you know searches that way or if I type in survival gear I can look at the the suggestions they give me there or if, you know when you're on their main site if you just search survival gear you can see it gives you some other stuff here like fire starter which was one of the things that we saw. Um, now I'm, I'm gonna say that a fire starter wouldn't be a great product but if we um, just simply looked at it you know, real quick, let me, whoops, for some reason it didn't pull up. I just want to show you something, that there's probably thousands of suppliers for this particular product. Yeah, so if you look, there's 26,000 plus products right here just for the word fire starter. And um, they have several different variations, and we've got, looks like about 3,500 uh, suppliers. And I can just start looking here, and you can see there's, I just want to show you kind of the different options. And you can see that there's flint stone rods, there's actually these kind of uh, pretty cool like paracord bracelets that have a fire starter in them inside this actual clip. So it's kind of like combines two things in one. They've got these outdoor survival flints and things like that that you can see here. It's got like a little um, the magnesium stick flint and then the, something to strike it with which if you look on Amazon, just real quick, because this is basically exactly the same thing that Bear Grylls sells for $11. It's just a slightly different variation, and you can see here you can buy it for like $0.40 um, here. And there's other different types of options as well. Here's another flint that's a little bit more um, camping orientated. It's got you know a little better design. It's for $0.90, cents, you know, and minimum order is only 50 units. Um, you can see this one as a little functioning tool. So all different types of things here. Very, very easy to find those types of suppliers. But let's actually look for a product in the survival space here that would, might make more sense. Um, and I, just forgive me, I'm just trying to look at a product here on this page that would make maybe this type of life straw or this emergency shovel toolkit. I don't know how heavy that toolkit is, but let's just look at that emergency. I know how to spell here. Um, tool kit. So I can just search and see what we've got. So we've got, these are like much bigger it looks like, um, like camping type thing. Um, you got a little bit of a smaller one here that's compact. Um, you've got this one right here that is a 9-in-1. So you notice it's got tons of different things. It's a 9-in-1 tool kit. It looks pretty similar to this one right here. I would say basically the exact same thing. Um, and if you guys look at it, nine in one mini shovel. Uh, there's a bag, and you know this is the exact same product right here. And the minimum order is 500 pieces. It looks like their pricing varies pretty greatly, anywhere from one dollar up to eight dollars for the set. 
so it's going to depend on the amount of volume that you order but you can see here this product is selling for a little over $11 um, the reviews aren't great so I would need to figure out why exactly that's happening but you can see that this is the exact product so even if they're paying three or four bucks a unit they didn't get it all the way down to the one dollar they're, they're making a pretty good margin but we still would like to preferably look for something that's more expensive that we could sell and more premium um, but that's a perfect example of how easy it is to find an actual uh, product real quickly someone else is asking for like a greens slash nutritional product and this is actually uh, something that I'm very very passionate about I um, you know I'm big into my health and one of the things that I take every day is a a green supplement. Um, my business partner and I are we're actually going to be releasing our own and um, you know we may be selling it on Amazon but we'll be using different channels as well because we know um, just that it's a you know greens are very very important so let me just show you that because it's going to be a little bit different we can simply use something like Google and um, let me switch here to google.com because I'm on Google Philippines because I'm in the Philippines Okay, and so if I want to search for something like that, so I can just use Google to find this type of product. I can search greens, say powder, and then I can say private label. So you can see here, right here, organic greens powder private label. So I can search something like this. You're going to see all different, <coughs> excuse me, all different types of ads, and then you're going to start to see lots of different companies. And so Greens World, um, we've got um, OrganicVitamer.com, we've got Now Foods. For those of you that might not be familiar with Now Foods, they are a massive company and they sell all different types of supplements. But I can take a look at this, this Greens World right here and you can see benefits of private labeling, they talk about it, blah, blah, blah. Here's their phone number right here. You can get a quote from them, you can get a you know, review. They've got actual brands of their own, so I can see right down here. Let me just pull this up real quick. So this is their actual uh, own brand, Delicious Greens. I've actually seen this in the grocery store before, and you can read all about what it is and um, you know some of the benefits, and you can uh, take a look, I'm sure, at their label somewhere here to see all the ingredients that's in there. So very, very simple. They've got another one called Delicious Red or Delicious Reds, excuse me, looks like it's got a bunch of other stuff in it as well. Super simple, but very easy. Vitamer Laboratories, this is a company, 100% organic, they've got spirulina tablets, they've got an organic greens powder, so um, I would want to look at their product list, and I can search for organic greens powder, and you see that's their item right here, click on view details and here's all the details here's their actual label um, and I can start taking a look at it exactly what's in it best part is you can really dig into who these people are you can find out um, all the information that you want about them and you can get in touch with them I'm guessing that these people yep they're based in California Irvine California so it's a US based company I would recommend anything that you're anybody's ingesting or anything like that you make sure that they're in the United States they've got all their certifications everything like that and that they've been around for a while the company that we're looking at using for our particular greens powder is uh, has been in business since 1970s so they've been around for over 40 years so we know that they're a very stable and uh, long-term company but are you guys seeing you know how easy this could actually be um, to, to be able to find. I mean, it's really, really simple to be able to actually find a you know any type of product you want. You can look on Amazon and see an example of a product that might be selling. And you know, again, this particular product is actually selling pretty well. It's you know a thousand in the home improvement category, even though the rank you know the ratings aren't very great on it, the reviews. But you know, it's very, very simple to find a product that could sell well. Um, and what's even more interesting to me is that. This is shipped from and sold by Amazon. Amazon actually took this over, um, which is a good sign. So if you could improve the product a little bit, this could be an actual good one to sell. So, all right, so hopefully this is making sense. Let me jump back to the slides and uh, we can keep rocking and rolling. All right, so 
So I want you to kind of focus now real quick. When you're sourcing products, there's three really important things that you need to focus on that a lot of people don't talk about. So the first thing is focus on building a relationship with your supplier. This is really, really critical because the better relationship you have with them, the easier it's going to be for the, you to actually work with them, and especially long term. And then especially around times like right now where it's October, November, December, and then into the new year, January, which is usually all of this time is the biggest time of the year for you know physical products online because of the holiday season. And we want to really, really focus on that. And you can sometimes get some dramatic spikes. And you know, again, Tanner was, was showing you some of the stuff that, that we're doing, but just as an example, we had a product um, where two weeks ago it was doing about fifteen thousand dollars a week, and then last week it had already jumped up to over thirty thousand dollars just based on the increased demand for the, the holiday season and you know a few other things. So, uh, and that was in just one week. And we need to have a great relationship with our supplier because now with that initial jump, we need to order more inventory. So because of that relationship, they are actually expediting stuff for us. Okay, and then we want to also not focus on negotiating the price or order size right away. Too many people try and do this right out the gate and invest some time into actually talking to these people and figuring out if they're the right company that you would work with anyways. Because then if they are, you've already built up a little bit of a relationship with them. It's going to be easier for you to negotiate price and order size. And if you come right out the gate asking for lower minimum order quantities, lower price, etc., they're going to think of you as just somebody that's just trying to get a cheap price that you'll probably never order again, and they're going to ignore you. And we don't want that to happen. And then we encourage you to communicate with them over phone or Skype. And this is to separate yourself from everybody else. It also helps you in actually getting to the right person and all the right information about what you're trying to do faster. This is really, really important. Pillar number three is design and brand creation. I want you to post inside the questions box, what is one of your absolute favorite brands that you just think of when it's, you know, when you think of a premium brand, you just think of it. And uh, I popped in a few brands here that have lots of worldwide recognition, you know, McDonald's, Mercedes, Apple, Ferrari, Nike. But do you have a favorite brand? Just put it inside the questions box. You know, Lamborghini is, yes, a great example as well. Lots of kind of brand recognition. Ray-Ban is a, is a fantastic example as well. So when you're creating your brand, we always focus on creating a premium brand. And in doing so, this allows us to charge more money, and this allows us to sell higher quality product more often than not. So there's four keys to creating a premium brand. Key number one is you need to create great design. And trust me when I say I'm not a designer. We have four designers on staff um, in our office, and they're the ones that are geniuses behind creating the design for us. If you don't have any staff, and you probably don't, Start just like we did. Use 99designs or use Odesk or use Fiverr or use whatever you can to find a designer who is an expert, someone that can create a great looking design for you, for your brand. And then you want that person to also use colors that stand out and fit your demographic. This is where we can go back to our market research report and we can actually find what types of colors people were using in their advertising that we wrote down, the type of packaging they were using, how their brand looked, this is going to give us an advantage. And then we want to have key number three, which is packaging that makes you stand apart. If you think about when you buy stuff and you go and kind of open it up, what does the packaging look like? You know, if I buy a GoPro camera, it comes in this really nice packaging and you know, I, it, everything is put together well, and you know, etc. Um, if I bought, you know, I bought a brand new Canon camera the other day, um, and you know, for for just some travel use and and some business use as well, and uh, it came in nice packaging. Everything was set up well, and you know, the, the people at the store helped me put everything together, and you know, it looked pretty nice. Um, it, it added value. It was more premium. And sometimes you buy something, and the packaging is just garbage. You know, it doesn't 
It doesn't enhance the experience, and it could actually detract from that experience. So you want to have packaging that stands out. You know, another great example is Apple. Anytime you buy something from Apple, their packaging is very clean, simplistic, and when you open it up, it's you know everything's put together very nicely. It looks very premium. And key number four is for creating a premium brand is to outsource the whole process. This is critical. One of the biggest lessons I can teach you in any business that you that you choose to run and operate, and, and we highly encourage you to use FBA because we believe it's the best business, but don't waste your time on non-income generating tasks. Get other people to help you, and that's where having an expert designer from your staff or 99designs, Odesk, Fiverr, etc. is going to be really, really important. Very, very simple. Pillar number four is Amazon and product sim uh, setup. This is probably the easiest process that a lot of people overlook, but it's really, really important for you to get set up correctly. So what is required to get set up? Step number one is you need to set up your professional seller central account on Amazon. This is super simple. If you go to Amazon.com, scroll down to the bottom, they have a little link that says sell on Amazon. You click on that and then they have an individual or a professional account. You want to sell as a professional because it's going to give you access to everything that you need to do and for selling the way that we sell and what we've been going through. Now, uh, Amazon gives you a free 30-day trial to this, so it's no big deal to get set up. Step number two is to create your product listing. You know, again, if you're not a great writer or anything like that, you can hire somebody on Odesk or um, wherever uh, to actually just write this for you and create a product listing. And it, it's important to create a good product listing because you can look at your competition just like with that 9-in-1 shovel that we just found. The product listing was only a few sentences, so it doesn't really describe the product, doesn't really tie people in and get them excited about it. The idea with your product listing is to educate and also sell them to buy your product. And then step three is you use Amazon's easy to follow interface to have your product shipped directly to Amazon so that you can start selling. And that's it. It really is that simple and easy. And once Amazon receives the inventory, you push everything live, and your product is up and available to people to purchase. And that's where promotion comes in. This really is the missing link. And Tanner's going to take back over here and talk to you about promotion and why it's so important, but more importantly, share you some inside secrets on what we're doing with promotion in our business. Tanner, are you there? I'm here. Can you guys hear me? Making sure you guys can hear me. Can you guys hear me? Awesome. Okay, cool. All right, so hey, how was that with Ryan? Good stuff, right? Walking you through all the different pillars. Well, everything he's done right now has led you up to the point where it's time to get out there and sell your product, right? So this is the missing link, promotion. This is where everybody kind of just drops the ball. It's where most other courses fall flat on their face. It's where the most sellers don't know what to do because they think, hey, I list my product on Amazon, I'm going to get rich. I don't have to do anything. And the reality is, no, you've got to market. That's the whole point. The business you're in is marketing. The product you're selling just happens to be the product, whatever it is, right? So what I'm going to take you through right now is all the cool stuff about promotion and the reality of really making a seven-figure or six-figure or solid income off of Amazon, all right? So let me know you guys are with me. Can you guys see the screen? You should see pillar number five. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to get into some pretty techy stuff, so make sure you stay with me, all right? Okay, so first thing. This is a quote by a very, very famous person who is very near and dear to my heart, and it is, the ability to grow a business and produce income comes down to being able to use paid traffic at break-even or better, okay? Meaning that you got to have a business. And to have a business, you got to be able to buy your customers. you got to be able to spend money to acquire customers, okay? So... This is the way that most people do traffic. Now, I apologize. I know Ryan told you guys that I'm a gun guy. I, I like to do comp shooting competitions and travel the world shooting and stuff like that. So, of course, I have to throw in pictures of shooting, right? So, this is how most people do traffic. They aim at a target and blindly pull the trigger, and they just scatter gun and blast the target, right? This is like a shotgun blast, right? So, their, their target, what they're actually aiming for is that, that center circle. That's the customer. That's their target audience. But what they're doing is they're just throwing crap against the wall. 
hoping it sticks. This is the kind of person who does, I, they do a little bit of Pinterest, they do a little bit of SEO, they do a little bit of article marketing, they do a little bit of Facebook ads, a little bit of Twitter, and they do all kinds of stuff and just kind of throw it all over the place. How many of you guys have seen people or have been guilty of doing traffic like that? Go ahead and throw it in the chat. Let me know if it's you or if you know people who are like that or you've seen it, right? Me, me, me. Oh, yeah, me, totally, LOL, of course, yeah, guilty, of course, guys. This is the way most people do traffic, and honestly, it's wrong because the more you start spreading yourself around and doing little bits here and there and here and there and doing all these different traffic sources, the less effective each one of those sources becomes, the less money you make from those sources, the more effort it takes to manage all those sources, and all around, the least, less amount of, uh, sorry, the less successful you will become overall. So it actually is counterintuitive. This is the right way to do traffic, like a sharpshooter, five shots under the size of a quarter, okay? Laser targeted focus. You take one traffic source and you drive it in specifically to the specific person who's most likely to buy your product. If your product is a fitness product for CrossFit, CrossFitters and it's for guys, guys who do CrossFit, you don't want to be advertising to the 90-year-old grandma in a wheelchair at all. Okay, you don't want her to see your advertisements. The problem is when you use that shotgun, scattergun approach to advertising, you have no idea who's seeing your advertisements and you're wasting it. You need to be focused and drilled in on the very specific audience who's most likely to buy your product, right? So if you are selling a very disgusting green powder drink that, and that's what you're selling, you for sure don't want that offer to show, show up in front of me. Okay, you want it to show up in front of weird guys like Ryan who love drinking stuff that tastes like dirt. That's what you want to do. So if I see your offer, I'm not going to buy it. But if Ryan sees your offer, he'll probably buy 10 bottles of it, right? And travel all over the world keeping that stuff in his carry-on. There's a big difference, okay? Targeted traffic is important. I know he's on mute, you know, gritting his teeth right now, but it's true. That stuff tastes awful, all right? So don't show it to me if you're selling that. So there's six factors of successful traffic, guys. Number one, fast. Traffic needs to be fast. Can you get it quickly? Can you get it on demand? On demand is two, okay? When it comes in fast, it needs to come in quickly, right? So not something that takes forever to, to happen. When it's on demand, you need to be able to push a button, basically, and have traffic happening. Not something like SEO, where you do the SEO, and then three weeks to three months or three years later, you get traffic. Can't build a business when you don't have consistent traffic. It needs to be consistent, okay? Can't come in spurts. If you get 3,000 visitors today and tomorrow you get five visitors, that's not going to work. You need consistent traffic over time. It needs to be scalable. If you get 3,000 visitors but all you can ever get is 3,000 visitors a day or 3,000 visitors a month or whatever it is, then your, tra your, your scalability, the ability to grow your business is limited, okay? You can't make it happen beyond that. Let's say you can only get 3,000 visitors a month from your traffic source. It's going to be pretty hard to build a really highly successful growing business when you can't actually get any more customers or traffic, right? It needs to be targeted like we were talking about. It has to be the specific, I like to drink green juice that tastes like dirt, customer, okay? Not the guy who likes to drink rock stars, okay? Like me. So you got to target the correct person. And you're Traffic needs to be trackable, and this is the number one place that people screw up when it comes to Amazon traffic. They feel that Amazon traffic is not trackable. So here's the thing. Let's say you have five different, let's not even say five, let's just say you have three different traffic sources. You have Pinterest, YouTube, and Facebook, okay? And you're driving traffic all the way to, from all those sources to your Amazon product, and you start making sales. You're like, yes, it's working. But how do you know where those sales are coming from? You don't, okay? If you're not tracking each individual traffic source and the sales that are made from each source, you don't know what's working. You could be spending 85% of your time on Facebook trying to drive traffic and the rest of your time but split between Pinterest and YouTube. And then you, if you were actually tracking, you might find out that YouTube, the one you only give about 10% of effort to, is actually making 80% of your sales. So you should be spending time on YouTube and less time on Facebook, and you'd be making more money. A perfect example of this, guys, is when you start spending money on traffic. Uh, in our business, we had two different ads that were going to one of our products, actually the product that makes about 200 grand a month. Two different ads. One was targeting a very big audience, 
Um, and I think we were spending $150 a day or something like that. And the other one was targeting a, a small audience, less than less than 100,000 people. And we were spending, I think, $25 or $30 a day, $50, $50 a day, something like that. So not the same. And we were making sales. Sales were going, coming in, but we weren't tracking it. Finally, I put the track the tracking in place on both the ads, and it turns out that 80% of my sales were coming, actually more than that, more than 80%, the vast majority of my sales were coming from that $25 to $30 a day ad. Okay, I was making less than 20% of my sales from the $150 a day ad. I was actually losing money on the $150 a day ad, but I was making so much from the $25 to $30 a day ad that it was covering for my losses. So as soon as I turned off that $150 a day ad, my profits went through the roof. And then I took that ad that wasn't converting and I reevaluated it, broke it down into smaller audiences, tracked each audience, and boom, my I was able to be way more profitable, get way more traffic, and everything improved. Okay, that's why tracking is so so important. The other thing is, is you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. You must have multiple traffic sources, except when you start. Okay, you need to build out your traffic sources one at a time and build them out slowly, so you give them the attention that they deserve in order to get them converting at the highest rate possible before you jump into a new traffic source. You want to make it easy on yourself, guys, and start with the low-hanging fruit. Now, the low-hanging fruit can be different for any, everybody. If you're a, a master at YouTube, then start with YouTube. If you're really good at Pinterest, start with Pinterest. If you're really good at SEO, uh, maybe start with SEO. I'm not a big fan of that, but you can definitely start somewhere similar. Okay, maybe YouTube combined with SEO. If you're good at Facebook ads, start with Facebook ads. If you're not good at anywhere and you have to pick somewhere to start, then I recommend you start with Facebook because it is the easiest place to get massive amounts of traffic for almost any niche market. You can get it cheap, you can start small, and you can scale as your business grows. It's one of the best traffic sources around. Okay. And then once you have one traffic source going and converting and making you money, you use that as the baseline stats when you create a new traffic source. Okay? It gives you leverage. So now you know, hey, my Facebook ads are converting this well. I want to figure out what my baseline costs are going to be for the next traffic source I set up, whether it's YouTube or whatever. And they'll be a little bit different, but it gives you a starting point on types of things you should be looking for in terms of what converts the best. Okay? So these are the ways you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, except for when you start. And then after each traffic source gets going, then you branch out into multiple traffic sources. This is how you scale your business rapidly. Now, how would you guys like to know the five main traffic sources that we use in our business? How many of you guys would like to know that? Let me grab a drink real quick. Yes, 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 of course, duh. Okay, cool. All right, so we have five main traffic sources. Now, we didn't start them all at once, guys. We started them up one by one, and we rapidly grew until these became the five main income stream traffic sources of our businesses. Number one is email marketing. Okay? We build email lists of people who are interested in our products, and then we send them emails that sell them our products. Revolutionary, right? <laughs> but it's a simple traffic source that's vastly overlooked when it comes to physical product sales. Building a list, the money's in the list, you've all heard it, and it still works very, very well. And it's a very easy traffic source to automate. We use retargeting. Retargeting is when you visit an offer page, and then you don't buy, and then all of a sudden you see an, an ad for that product following you all over the internet, right? It gets people to come back and buy later. It's a great, great traffic source, and it's very effective and very cheap to operate. Facebook paid ads, okay? Facebook is a huge traffic source of ours. We set up an ad, we target the exact specific person down to their age range, their sex, their interests, everything, and then we send them the ad to them, okay? And that's how we target on Facebook. We use direct media buying, where we actually go to niche websites that are in our market that serve our target audience and say, hey, you know, our product would be a perfect fit for your customers. Can we pay you to put a banner on our site, on your site? And then that banner, when they click the banner, it sends them over to our sales page on Amazon. Okay? This can be very, very cheap, and it can be very, very effective at getting your offer right smack in front of the most targeted audience. Okay, very, very easy to do. It just takes a little bit of legwork. And number five, Amazon traffic itself. We have two different kinds of Amazon traffic. 
there's Amazon Organic, which is search-based traffic. And Amazon, as you guys probably know, is the largest buyer's search engine in the world. People go to Amazon because they want to buy things. When they type it in the chat bar or in the search bar, they're looking to buy whatever it is they're searching for. And they also have a paid traffic model where you can actually buy advertising for your product within the Amazon website, okay, to get even more sales and show up on even more listings. It's a very, very effective traffic source, and you can make a ton of money just leveraging Amazon by itself. The coolest part about Amazon organic traffic is that the better you are at other forms of external traffic, like email retargeting, Facebook, direct media buying, all of that stuff, the more sales you drive from external traffic sources, the better your organic ranking will be inside of Amazon, and the more search traffic you'll get from Amazon, the more sales Amazon will send you, and the more money you will make. So everything has this synergistic effect on it on your organic rankings with the more traffic and sales you drive from outside of Amazon. All right? Does this make sense, guys? Yeah? Okay, cool. Now, there are other great traffic sources out there that we leverage, some of which make us a lot of money, some of them make us not as much money, but there are other traffic sources that we do use out there, okay? So some profitable but secondary sources in our business. And now these traffic sources are actually the primary in some other people's businesses. It just depends on what works the best for their products. So number one is YouTube. When Daniel, Ryan's partner, launched his Amazon business, that's how he got started was with, was with uh, YouTube. And he was able to build his business up into about $300,000 a month, pretty much just using YouTube advertising to drive external sales to Amazon and boost his Amazon internal rankings. Press releases. Ryan is a press release ninja. He's been doing press releases since before they were cool, and they're still not cool. They're kind of geeky, but Ryan's really, really good at them. And he can do a press release for a product that gets tons and tons and tons of traffic. Okay? And once they're out there, they get distributed all over the Internet, sending constant SEO traffic to his Amazon listings, also providing credibility to his Amazon listings. So when someone sees his product on Amazon, and then they go to Google and they search for, for that product, they see all these different uh, press releases on his product, okay? So it makes it more credible and more real. And then affiliates. This is an untapped market for Amazon. People think, oh, I'm selling on Amazon. I can't have an affiliates. So not true. You can actually go out and contact Amazon affiliates and get them to promote your products. And it can be very, very effective. There's tens of, of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people out there that make money with Amazon review sites. They create sites that review Amazon products, and when people click the links there, they make a commission on the sale from reviewing the product. You can get those same people to do that with your products, and then you can make money off of their efforts. And they'll make a little bit of money when they refer a sale to your product. Okay? So there's lots of different ways you can get, tra you can get traffic for your Amazon products. Okay? Now, in reality, you don't need that much traffic. Now, this is a numbers chart, and it looks kind of confusing, but you don't have to know what it means. This is basically a order sessions chart out of Amazon. It's one of the detail charts that you get to see when you look at your stats. All you need to see are sessions. These are basically page loads, okay? Every time your product page has been loaded, okay? And then you want to see the total number of units ordered, the two columns that have the error arrows in them. So that's how many products were ordered. So at the top one, you see 12,959 sessions. Out of all those sessions, 3,485 products were ordered, and that's what's important, okay? So if we add all those up, that equals 56,622 sessions and a total number of units ordered of 6,022. If we do the math to figure out the conversion rate, that shows us that on average, our, all of our Amazon products are converting at around 10.6% on average, okay? Some bigger, some higher, some less, but the cool thing is, in the internet world, the internet e-commerce world, global e-commerce sales, the average conversion rate for an e-commerce product is around one and a half to two percent. Okay, on Amazon, the average conversion rate is between nine and twelve percent. Amazon converts higher because of their reviews, their trust in the marketplace, their Prime, their shipping, all the stuff that the Amazon does gives you a huge boost over regular e-commerce sellers because your average conversions will typically be in the 9 to 12% range. As you can see, 
this product set falls right smack in between the 10.6 or in between the range at 10.6. So that's meaning that we're getting roughly one sale, actually 1.6 sale, but you can't get a six a sale, right? So one sale every 10 visitors. So every 10 people that visit our Amazon page, one of them is buying. Okay? So you don't need that much traffic because Amazon helps you out so much with the boosted conversion rates. Now you can even optimize your page more and get much higher conversion rates. We have products that convert 15 to 20 percent and so we have some products that occasionally convert as high as 30 some odd percent or more. Okay, but you can consistently get between 9 and 12 percent conversions on your page. So with those kind of conversions you don't need nearly that much traffic in order to be profitable. Okay. So the only metric here that matters is your return on investment, all right? So our first goal is to get 20 visitors a day, okay? So 20 visitors a day with a 10.6 conversion rate, it means we're going to get actually two sales a day. But let's say your conversion rate's a little bit less than 10%. So you're going to average out no less than one sale per day with 20 visitors hitting your Amazon page. And you can get organic traffic, you can use paid ads, you can do pocket traffic on like Facebook or things like that you can get or forum traffic. How many of you guys can get 20 people to visit your sales page a day? I mean, if you can make a Facebook post, you can get 20 clicks, right? How many of you guys can get 20 people to visit a, an offer a day? It's not hard. Easy, Thomas says. Yeah, totally, totally. Of course I can. Easy. Yeah, once I know how. Of course you can. It is so easy. One Facebook ad spending less than five bucks a day would get you way more than $20, 20 visitors per day. So as long as you're targeting right and your, your Amazon page is converting on average, which it will, you can easily do this at one sale per day at 20 visitors per day. So again, guys, it doesn't take that much traffic. 20 visitors a day, one sale per day, that's 30 sales a month on average, okay? And you'll actually make more than that. We're talking about an average here, okay? You guys, I, I just said it. You guys know you can get 20 visitors a day, right? Would you guys like to see a real example, though, of this system in action? the five pillars that we just showed you, would you guys like to see a real product that we talk about, break it down all the way through? Would that be cool? Awesome, okay, let's get into it. So let's start with a product that Ryan actually uses, a simple hammock, okay? You know, Ryan was talking about him liking to do rock climbing and, and backpack and hike. He wants to go hike Kilimanjaro. Ryan loves to go out in the outdoors. He loves to hike, loves to backpack. He's actually, um, coming to the U.S. I think in November-ish to start that thing off. He's going to be tra traveling around, hitting all different these different rock climbing and backpacking spots all over the U.S., kind of like a pilgrimage or something for rock climbers. So he's going to, he's going to take these little hammocks with him, these little portable hammocks, okay? So what we did uh, when we were looking at this product was we typed in hammock on Amazon to see what was out there, okay? We just basically did the same thing Ryan showed you, and we researched what kind of hammocks and things were selling on Amazon. Okay, then we went over to Alibaba and we found a hammock that we liked. Okay, this is a portable backpackers type hammock. You know, we saw the dimensions and we wanted to make sure that it met all the criteria. So you can see it's really lightweight, it's super strong, it can handle a 400 pound person, uh, and it's nylon, it's very simple, it can be br branded, it's not going to break, um, it's not gonna, it doesn't have a high failure rate, it's a very simple product. Okay. We, did, went on, we saw this product, we went on Alibaba, we looked around to find the hammock. So we found a hammock that was a backpacker's hammock, very, very similar, that we could source for 5 to $10 per product, okay, per unit, all right? And we made sure that we checked Gold Supplier, on-site check, to try to make sure we could find a supplier who was more verified than the others. These aren't guarantees, but it's a great place to start when you're looking for suppliers, okay? So the got, well, idea was we wanted to find a hammock that was a portable backpacker's hammock in demand that we could sell on Amazon, okay? And we looked at this product specifically because it was a product that Ryan was interested in, that he buys, and he knew a little bit about the market, he was a little passionate about it, so we did some research, okay? So how much profit do you think you could make from a hammock like this, considering that we could sell it for about $40? What do you guys think? Go ahead and type it in the chat. How much profit can we make? If we sell it, that hammock for 40 bucks, what can we do? Okay, John says 30, what else do we got? 10, 5, 20, uh, Kong says we can make 70 selling it for 40. Kong, I want to sell the way you sell, 
That looks awesome. Uh, <laughs> I would love to do that. Ryan, let's find some products where we can do that. Okay, so let's do some pr quick fire profit calculations, okay? We actually found out, now these are rough guys, but we actually found out that we could buy our product for $7.50 a unit. Shipping costs to get the product into the US and over to Amazon was gonna cost us $2.50 per unit. So our actual cost per unit is $10. All right, again, these are rough numbers just so the math is easy, but these are very, very in line with what we actually paid for this product. If we sell it on Amazon, we can sell it for $40. Now Amazon, since Amazon is going to sell the product, process the payment, handle the customer service, do the pick, pack, and ship, they are going to take roughly 20% of the product. Some categories they take more, other categories they take less, but on average, it's about 20%. So Amazon's gonna take $8, all right? So if we do the math, a $40 sell price minus a $10 cost per unit minus $8 Amazon fee equals a 22%, or 20, sorry, $22 net profit, okay? So we didn't do anything crazy, and we've got a product that we're gonna make $22 profit per sale, okay? This is why our system is so awesome, guys because there are so many people on Amazon who sell products and they make five or three or six dollar profit per product sold. Now let me give you an example of why it's so important to do the math beforehand and find products that have good margins. Let's say, you know, we have an over a 50% margin here, right? A lot of people who have 50% margins are making five bucks a sale. Now let's say we're driving, uh, David, exactly, we're talking about traffic, right? We need to buy traffic or get traffic to our site to really drive our sales, okay? Thomas, we're talking about it right now. Traffic, if you only make $5 profit per sale, gross profit, and you still have to get traffic, what happens if it costs you $2.50 to get traffic or to get, to get a customer? Now you're only making $2.50 a sale. Unless you're selling thousands of items a day, you're not really making all that much money. Now in our case, we could spend $12 to acquire one single customer and still have $10 net profit per sale, okay? So if, let's, let's say it costs us $12 to acquire a customer, which is pretty heavy. We don't ever have to pay that much to acquire a customer, but let's say we did. We're still making $10 a sale. 10 sales, 100 bucks in our pocket, right? So when you have a larger profit margin with a larger dollar value, now you can also afford to acquire customers. Remember when I was talking about you have to be able to buy your customers to win, to be able to have a business? That's exactly what we're talking about here. And when people are worried about competition, if you can buy traffic that's more expensive than your competition can afford to buy, you can afford to pay, quote unquote, more money for your, comp for your customers, then you can beat any competition that's out there, okay, and still remain profitable and very profitable. A $10 margin, if I was spending $12, to acquire a customer, I'd do that all day long. I can make a ton of money, right? And there's practically no traffic source on the planet that I can't go, go to and be able to spend $12 to acquire a customer. So I can buy the most expensive to the cheapest traffic and still be profitable with a lot of money, okay? Does that make sense, guys? Is that clicking? This is a very important thing I want you guys to grasp here. No, you don't wanna go out there and sell a product for $10 and make 50% and you make five and then you spend three dollars on traffic and only make two. So make sure you find products that sell for more money, okay? For 20 bucks is probably the minimum I want to sell it for and up to as much as 60 to 100 dollars is what we like to do, okay? Now, does the product that we picked out meet the selection criteria that Ryan told you about? Is it lightweight? Yep, only weighs 12 ounces. Is it simple? Yeah, it's basically a hunk of fabric with some clips on it. Can't get much simpler than that. Unbreakable, well, it could technically rip, but it's, it can support 400 pounds. It doesn't have anything techy on it. It's not gonna smash or fail or anything like that. So yeah, it's pretty much unbreakable. Are there other products in the marketplace that are selling similar to it? Yes. Are there other related products that we could sell to people who bought that product? Of course. Is it low cost? Yep, $7.50 a unit. Is it profitable? Yeah, we could get a 22% gross profit margin on each unit, leaving us plenty of room to buy traffic and still have a nice chunk of change on every sale, okay? So it meets all the selection criteria of a product. 
So the next thing we needed to do was set up our Amazon product listing. Okay, so all we had to do was request a sample of the product so we could see what we were getting, then get a photo. We actually take our own photos now, but we got a photo from the manufacturer to get started. We posted it on Amazon, wrote a simple description of the product, and made it live. Now this is where people freak out. They, how many of you guys have ever been on Amazon to buy a product and you look at the product description and it says made in the USA or it says weight 12, things, 12 ounces but it doesn't tell you anything about the product and you're like I don't even know if this is what I need. I don't know if I want to buy this because you have no information in the product description. I see that. I'm on Amazon every day and I see it all the time so I'm sure you guys have as well. It's not, people freak out about this because they're like, I'm not a copywriter. Well, you don't have to be. All you have to do is look at the product, pretend you're the customer and say, hey, what information would I need to know as the customer to make an informed buying decision? So I need to know how, I need to know the details about the hammock. Tell me the details in plain English and you've done your product description. That's all it takes, guys. Is it really that simple? Yeah, guys, it really is. Now let me ask you a quick question. What's one successful product worth to you? Seriously, if you get just one successful product going, 5K a month, 10K a month, even more, how much would you pay to get one perfect product going? Guys, we have, in, in low size business, we have one business, one of our Amazon products, it's all by itself with an Amazon account, in one niche, does almost $200,000 a month. A bad month for us is like $120,000 with that product. So. $5,000, $10,000 a month is easy peasy with a Amazon product. Now the simple formula that Ryan just showed you makes it incredibly difficult for you to fail. Not impossible, but if you follow the system and you do it right, you pretty much aren't going to fail because your results become predictable. It's duplicatable and it works every single time. It's no longer a game of chance. We've just turned our guess into a math problem, right? As long as we do the math right, everything's going to work out and you control everything and it works fast. You get the product, you get it up on Amazon, boom, you're in business quick. Now, the reality check, guys, not every product will be a home run, okay? It won't happen. You're gonna have way more dud products than you can have winner products, okay? Not every product's gonna make $100,000 a month. Not every product's gonna make $10 million in the end of its life. Not every product is even gonna make $10,000 a month, but even a loser product can still make about five to six, seven thousand dollars a month, okay? So even the duds still make money. The best part of this system, this Amazon system, and why Ryan has built a team of over 50 people, why we love it so much, why we're so excited about Amazon, is it can scale very quickly and easily. So if you have one product, one product a day selling, you can make, you know, each product getting it up to five thousand dollars a month. That's kind of a loser product in Amazon, in Amazon selling, okay? So let's say you only can make a loser and it makes only $5,000 a month. Well, you did that with one product. Then you duplicate the system again with another product. And that product, you get it up to selling one product a day. Okay? Now it's making $5,000 a month. Now you have two products, each selling $5,000 a month. Now you're at $10,000 a month. Very quickly, you can wind up at six, six products making you $30,000 a month, which is $360,000 a year gross. And if you have a good margin, you're looking at, you know, 200 plus thousand dollars or more in profit, right? So you could have five, six, seven failure products or mediocre successes that all add up. It's that whole truism that says many little streams or many little trickles make a river, right? All that runoff coming into the river makes a big river. This is your river of income by adding up additional products, one after the other after the other, launching them the same way that you launched the product before, okay? Each one adds to your overall income, and it's very simple to do. That five-step system that Ryan showed you is all it takes, guys. Now, this is not theory. Again, just want to prove it to you. What you see here, yes, this is all blurred out, but over here on the right is what's important. What you see here are how many products for this one account. You can see there are six, six items, six products in this Amazon account, and you can see how much inventory we have in stock for each one of these products. 9,000 units, 1,200 units, 6,400 units. This one only has 515, which means we're about to receive another reorder. 4,000 4, units, 7,000 units, 
all this is showing you guys is we are selling tons and tons of units. We keep tons of units in stock because we're selling so much. This is a lot of money tied up in inventory. The only way we could do that is if our products were selling and we were making money, okay? So what I'm saying is trust us when we say that you can do this and that it can work for you. There is no barriers to entry. There are no language barriers with Amazon. There are no geographical barriers. You can do this from anywhere in the world. Okay, I just talked to a guy last week who is in Curacao. It's an uh, island off the coast of Florida in the Caribbean. Okay, He's in Curacao. I used to vacation and scuba dive in Curacao, and it is not exactly a technologically advanced island, but he's doing really well. Okay, There's no age barriers. There's no experience required. It's very, very simple and no technical issues. Amazon does the techie stuff. You don't have to deal with tech because you're selling through Amazon's platform, and Amazon is stocking it on, in Amazon's warehouse, so you don't even have to stock the product. You're not filling up your garage like you were doing back in the old days. All you have to do is decide to do it and then actually get out there and do it. So let's talk a little bit about Daniel's story. Okay, I want Ryan to tell you this since he's actually Ryan's partner, and Ryan, and Daniel can tell you kind of how he started, or Ryan can tell you how Daniel started, which I almost can guarantee you is going to blow you away because it's way harder than you guys have. Just realized I was muted there. So can you hear me okay? <laughs> I can hear you just fine. You lost right, your presentation cool. now. All right. Let me – can you see my screen? Yep. All right. Awesome. All right, cool, guys. So let's talk a little bit about Daniel's story. So as T Tanner mentioned, Daniel is my business partner, and Daniel grew up on a farm in Iceland in a very remote part of Iceland, which most places are there. And as he was growing up, I mean, English is his third language. Uh, when I first met Daniel just a few years ago, you know, his English was actually, you know, really poor. And he's come a long way in the last few years just uh, learning the language. But, you know, so English was his third language, and it was, you know, so bad that he actually, everything that he basically did, he had to outsource uh, because he couldn't write, you know, couldn't write English, so any text or anything like that, he was outsourcing all of that stuff. And uh, in school, you know, he wasn't the best school the student in school. He had um, looked at getting, you know, expelled and, and kicked out of university, actually. Um, at the time, he was working in a bowling alley. He was the guy that was spraying the shoes, you know, with the deodorizer and cleaning type spray and, um, you know, very simple life and obviously wasn't making a lot of money. And then he started really looking at ways to kind of change his life. He was studying psychology in school and he decided that he really wanted to build a business and be an entrepreneur and create his own destiny. Destiny, And uh, he ended up dropping out of college about a week before he was going to graduate or maybe it was, a, I think it was a month actually before he was going to graduate. And um, his parents were just completely in disbelief and, you know, um, very, very disappointed and you know, he did it because he wanted to back himself in a corner. He wanted to give himself no other option. You know, he really had no other option to get started. You know, uh, he couldn't really go get a good job or anything like that because he had no degree. And he really had no money to get started. He was living on student loans and uh, the money that he was getting from the bowling alley. And, you know, he had to start making money and quickly because his payments for his student loans were going to be coming in due uh, very soon. And then he had no list and no reputation to really get started. And let's talk a little bit about where Daniel is now. In less than 12 months of starting his Amazon FBA business, he had built a seven-figure you know, figure business and grown our, our team to over 30 full-time staff. You know, now we've got closer to 50 staff. Um, currently manages and runs over 20 phys different physical product brands you know, with our office and now generates over $1.2 million per month all from Amazon FBA. And, you know, the moral of the story are the chances are that you are probably in a much, much better position and have a much better skill set and, you know, you have more money to start your business than, than Daniel would. You know, wouldn't you agree, you know? I mean, of course you would. Um, his situation was a very challenging situation and the reason that we share that with you is we want you to know just how big of an advantage you have. And 
obviously everyone knows that people buy products on Amazon. I mean, the company is massive. They're getting millions of visitors a day. And just look at really how many Amazon Prime members and credit cards that Amazon has on file. And this data is from last year, so it's even higher now. But um, GeekWire reported that the, they have 30 million um, and 40 million Prime subscribers in the U.S. The total is worldwide about 50 million uh, worldwide subscribers just to Amazon Prime. And they have right now actively from according to, again, GeekWire, is that they have actively roughly 244 million credit cards on file. That is absolutely insane. And, um, you know, that's the power of Amazon. You can leverage that, the trust, and the all the people that they have. And really, it's so important to you use Amazon in your business as well. And that's why at this very moment, you're at your computer watching this workshop. You've heard about how this works. And you know that selling on Amazon is an absolute must for you. And that's why the four of us have banded together to create something really, really special. It's called Ecom Masters FBA Edition. And listen for a second here. Ecom Masters is specifically designed to help you find a market, choose the right product to sell, easily source your product, get set up on Amazon correctly. This is absolutely critical and start generating consistent traffic and sales day in and day out. And then scale your business, just like we've done every single time in our businesses, in as little as just 28 days. So if you want to build a premium brand, if you want to have a product that makes a difference in your customer lives, and more importantly, in your actual bank account, and if you want to create a business that gives you time and financial freedom, if you want to have the if you want to know the exact things that we do to successfully build and grow our brands, and if you want to crush your Amazon competition, I'm talking annihilate them, and if you want to sell your product like crazy, then this program is specifically designed for you. So here's how it works. Ecom Masters is combined in six critical components. The first component is our 60 plus module core curriculum training. This breaks down everything from the basics to scaling, and it walks you through step by step. We also have our six-week fully customized workshop recordings that we have done that are available to you that walk you through lots of customized training that we have provided. And we have our From Zero to Seven Figures follow-along case study that we're doing. You have the live event mastermind recordings from our Las Vegas Ecom Masters 2015 and we have our four part VIP access the three layers of support as well this is critical because we believe that you need the right support and structure to be successful that's why we're providing three layers of support so let's dig into this so the core curriculum is 60 plus modules A to Z business training there's three different user tracks here based on your current situation. It talks about building your business, growing your business, and scaling your business. This is our, we teach you our proprietary product kickstart campaign that Tanner showed you an example of. We have advanced training videos and the mastermind session recordings. We've got our forms, checklists, cheat sheets, spreadsheets all available for you. And then the three critical growth standard operating procedures. It's important for you to know that the core curriculum is the most detailed and complete program on the market for those looking to build, grow, and scale an Amazon business today. We have our recorded workshops. This is our six plus weeks of recorded workshop training. This was 100% fully customized training based on the needs and situations of people just like you. This was designed with our weekly forward progress survey system using our ongoing what's working now updates as well for our case study. From time to time, we'll be updating you exactly what's happening. Our member hot seats and business critiques that were, and then also the weekly question and answer sessions that we had done. These recordings are all available for you right away inside the members area. These workshop recordings are designed to accelerate your implementation of the core curriculum so that you can actually achieve your success faster. Then we have our number three, the case study, our From Scratch to Seven Figures case study, and we're basically exposing to you one of our new brands so that you can follow along and see exactly what we apply to get this brand up and running 
the good, the bad, the ugly, any mistakes that we make along the way, and obviously the success that we have with it. You also get the behind the scenes numbers and metrics reporting. We have our five plus module inception training that Tanner and I created specifically so that you can get inside our brain and understand exactly what we're thinking and why we're thinking it that way for this particular product. We're talking about our advanced global expansion. This is released as it happens, our advanced premium branding, branding training. And then the big box retail acquisition training. We believe that this is a product that can get into big box stores. So we're going to be, as that is applicable, we'll be sharing that with you as well. But remember that we put our money where our mouth is by showing you the inside of one of these brands that we're running. Then number four is our 2015 Ecom Masters live event recordings. This is the event content that was customized to attendees. You know, current cutting edge guest lecturers on you know, automation, rapid growth. We had people talking about crowdfunding and a whole lot more. Uh, did, did things like advanced conversion rate optimization and traffic, talking about long-term business building and planning, uh, you know, kind of hacking and, and you know, increasing your productivity. We're also looking at doing a brand new event in 2016 that you'll get first mover advantage on as well. Um, you also get VIP access. And this is something that is really, really important to us. You know, part of the reason that Daniel and I do this, you know, one of the main reasons that Daniel and I do this is we're looking to partner with people just like you. And our students will be able to be the first people that can actually par apply to partner with our partnership program. Our office currently leverages, we have three partner brands. And you know these brands are growing really, really rapidly and expanding every single month. We're doing lots of really cool things with these brand partnerships. And that's what we want to be able to do with you as well. So you'll get um, access to apply to that. You also have qualification for a uh, possible China trip. So you can be considered to come with us on our next sourcing trip to China, which you see here, two pictures of Daniel and I in China. And um, number five, again, continued, is you'll have lifetime access to the members area, so you can always access the training and tools, as well as lifetime Ecom Masters FBA edition updates, so you can always have the most up-to-date tools, resources, and information about everything that we're doing in Ecom Masters FBA edition. The triple layer of support is direct access to us. That's Tanner, Los, Daniel, and myself so that you can ask us questions you like. This is when we do our live Q&A calls or any additional workshop calls. We also have access to our support desk so that you can be able to access even more support. This is great for tech support and admin questions. We even created a new Facebook group so that you'll have access to that so you can work with your community. And then our fourth actual layer of support here is done for you services. This is completed by our own full-time team that runs all of our brands. These are people that are completely trained in aspects of Amazon FBA, and it's all that they do. So this is things like having help with product listings and uh, having help with press releases, et cetera. And of course, there's a small fee for those as well because um, you know obviously we're paying our staff. We have to just cover the costs of that type of stuff. And you're getting the exact same system that, remember, we've personally used to generate over 3.7 million in one year from just one of our Amazon accounts. And remember, we generate six, or excuse me, we generate seven figures in just 30 days. Here's some screenshots from some of our accounts that you can actually see. You know, we don't need to go through all the numbers, but there's a lot of big numbers here. We know what we're doing, and we can teach you exactly how to do the same thing. Now, collectively, in 2014, the four of us have generated over $13 million in sales. But what's really, really important is that our profit margin has allowed us to keep almost seven million in profits. And we show you this not to brag, but to show you what is really possible with Amazon FBA. And by now, I'm sure you're wondering about the price. Listen, though, we charge no less than $2,000 per hour for coaching and consulting. And people happily pay it because we get them results. All four of us are all about delivering results. Our two-day masterminds regularly sell out at a price of $7,000 per person or more. We actually have increased this price to over $10,000 per person. You know, and don't worry that you won't have to pay us $2,000 an hour or even $7,000 like we charge for our workshops. Today, you can get complete access to Ecom Masters FBA edition for only a one-time investment of $997.
Now, it does get even better because you can actually get started for even less. I want to introduce you to the Ecom Masters payment plan. It was only three installments of $397. So here's exactly what you need to do next. You need to go to ecommasters.com forward slash John Dave and then simply choose your investment option. And Tanner Olos will also be placing this link inside the chat box for you. But again, it's ecommasters.com forward slash John Dave. And then simply choose your investment option, set up your member's account, and start the training. The best thing is that you can get in right away and actually start accessing the content. You don't need to wait and have drip-fed content. Everything is there right now for you to get started. So now you have two choices. Option one is do nothing and not take this leap of faith, which is 100% risk-free. Or option two is to simply pony up this small investment today compared to all the value that you'll be receiving in return and just give it a shot. If we can't make you money, then we really do believe we don't deserve yours. And that's why it gets even better in, you know, we're offering a 100% money back guarantee. This is going to be a risk free 30 days to test drive for yourself. You just need to go to ecommasters.com forward slash John Dave, make your one time low $997 investment, or choose the three installment option for only $397 per installment. And remember that we have a no questions asked 30 day money back guarantee. We want to personally give you everything that you need to make this business work. That's why we put everything together inside Ecom Masters. So sign up today. If you don't like it for any reason, it doesn't matter what it is. We don't care if it's 29 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes from now. Simply just let us or ClickBank know, and we will be sure to get you a 100% full refund. We truly stand behind that. So there's no questions asked. There's no wiggle clauses. There's no funny business. And honestly, now we're going to do something really special for you just today only, though, okay? There's a catch. Um, it's three extremely limited bonuses, and they're what we're calling our special fast action bonuses. And this is designed for action takers only. So these bonuses are only available for people who invest on this workshop tonight, okay? It's really important. So fast action bonus number one. This is access to our personal photographer. This is a value of about $500, and you can get high-quality product photography, which is critical to your success on Amazon. The problem is finding a photographer who gets advertising is both incredibly difficult and hard, as well as can be very, very expensive. I mean, the image licensing fees in and of themselves can be very cost prohibitive. But with access to this bonus, you get access to our personal photographer at a 50% off locked-in rate. Best part is you're going to get all of the image licensing for you right away, free of charge. You don't have to pay any additional fees for that. You can get all those details inside the members area Fast action bonus number two is our rapid physical product list building system. This is a value of $997. As Tanner was talking about in his actual training about step number five, pillar five, which is all about traffic, building a list is critical and nothing's going to grow your business faster and give you more staying power in a market than list building. The problem is nobody really knows how to build a list truly well inside of a physical business, product business. And what we've done is we've put together a four-hour, fully modulized training that covers every aspect of how to implement and monetize your own list building machine. You can see a, a screenshot here from one of our lists that's 22,000 people plus, and it took only two weeks to build. We just did a recent test with Facebook, and we've generated a list of over 2,000 people in just a span of a few days, and the best part is that list is making us money, which is really, really important. So here's what one student said about this bonus. His name is Dave, and he said, the bonus physical product list building course is worth the entire price right there. 
Seriously, I can die happy and richer, man. My electric bill is through the roof with all the light bulbs going off. Thanks, man. How awesome is that? And you know, our fast action bonus number three here, and this is actually one of my favorite because it saves you lots of time, effort, and money, is this gives you access to our private Amazon Rolodex, which is valued at $597. As we built our businesses, we've built up a huge list of resources that make our life easier. Trust me when I say we've gone and purchased all different types of products, services, and resources, and things like that that have wasted our time and cost us a lot of money. This Rolodex is the highlight reel and the best tools and resources that we use in our business that are going to save you tons of time and frustration by leveraging our experience. I'm not just talking about, oh, go use AWeber or, oh, go use Facebook advertising. I'm talking about the accountants that we recommend you use, how to get paid if you're you know, um, outside of the country and how to leverage you know, setting up a corporation inside the United States, any of these different types of tools and resources, exactly what we use to build our landing pages. In fact, we'll even give you a copy of our one of our own landing pages as well within these tools and resources. So very, very powerful. And so I want to recap real quick here everything that you get inside Ecom Masters FBA edition. So you're getting 60 plus module core curriculum. You're getting our six plus week fully customized workshop recordings. You're getting our from zero to seven figures follow along case study. You're getting our recordings of the in-person mastermind event that we did in Las Vegas back in August of this year, as well as access first mover advantage to our next event in 2016. You also get access to our four part VIP access, our three layer of support, which on top we're tossing in a Facebook group for you that is already full of people just like yourself having success with Amazon FBA. And we're throwing in three fast action bonuses that are only available tonight. This is access to our photographer. And this is a $497 value. You're getting access to our rapid physical product list building system, which is a four hour modulized training. That's a $997 value. Access to our Amazon Rolodex, which is a $597 value. And you can get access to everything by going to ecommasters.com forward slash John Dave. And real quick, I want to show you something that uh, Dave and John decided to do special for you guys. Um, if you go to ecommasters.com forward slash John Dave, you'll end up right here. You'll kind of get a little quick recap of what's going on. You can choose your investment option right here with a one time investment of $9.97 or the three monthly installments of $3.97. But John and Dave believe so much in what Tanner and I and, and Lois and Daniel are doing that they wanted to toss in over $26,000 in real-world value of bonuses as well. This is absolutely crazy to me and uh, something that is you know, really amazing and is going to help you a lot with your actual physical product list building business as well. So the first thing is they're going to help you with accountability partners. So John and Dave are going to regularly check on your progress with what you've learned to give you that much needed push and motivation whenever is needed. And of course they're going to be giving you views on everything as well. And this is going to be that accountability that's going to help you really be able to take it to the next level. This is um, 19, you know, $1,997 value. John and Dave are also throwing in access to both of their product vaults. Okay. They've got many, many, many cool products that, they, that you're going to love here. These are things around list building, traffic generation, product creation, software tools, and much, much more. And they obviously release new products all the time. They're going to give you complete access to all of their digital products that they have released to date and also any that they release in the future. I mean, talk about an amazing offer. Just one or two of these strategies in the list building or traffic generation courses could really help you take your business to the absolute next level. So it's an amazing offer and it just shows a testament of how much they believe in what we're doing here. And um, of course, all you need to do is simply go to ecommasters.com forward slash John Dave, click on the add to cart button, whether you choose to do the one time discounted investment. Uh, 997 or the three monthly installments of 397 is up to you in your current situation. 
but we encourage you to get in now so that not only you can lock in these three fast action bonuses, but as well as these two special bonuses from John and Dave. And um, real quick, I just want to jump back here. You know, we've got, um, so here's what to do next. You know, head on over to ecommasters.com. John, Dave, like I talked about, get your lifetime access account for the 997 or the three monthly installments. Set up your member's account and get into the training. You can access this right away and start learning right now. So if you've got questions, we've got answers. Tanner and I are committed to answering uh, some of the questions that you have here on the call. So let's go ahead and uh, Tanner, maybe you want to talk a little bit about um, maybe fire away some of these questions. Absolutely. Awesome, guys. So lots of questions coming in. Um, Lane's asking, you know, how much inventory or investment do I need to initially make to get started with this? And that's a, that really depends on the scale at which you want to start and your budget. Um, you know, obviously, it's going to cost some money to buy inventory for your first product. Uh, you know, when Daniel got started, he got started with around 300 bucks for his first order. I think Ryan was closer to a thousand. Um, Los and I, when we did our first one, uh, we did a couple thousand dollars, and then we just grew it from there. But you know, like Daniel started with 300, and then every time, and we did all did the same thing. But every time we sold out, we'd take that money and buy more inventory, and just kept making our inventory purchases bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger over time. Um, if you have the budget to spend more to start bigger, you can do that, but you certainly don't have to. So I like to say if you have an additional $500 to $1,000, you can get going really, really well with Amazon. It doesn't take much more than that. There's no reason to dive in with a bigger number until you get going. Uh, David, okay. Ecom Masters is the same Ecom Masters that we, we've always had. Uh, Brian says, is it possible to make good profits just selling Amazon products alone directly from their site? Yes, Brian, it absolutely is. It's, uh, you're going to do better if you drive external traffic as well, but you know, the, actually the vast majority, I would say, and Ryan can correct me, but I would say probably 70% or so of your guys' sales are Amazon organic, right? Yeah, we, I mean, we drive a massive number of sales. I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, the percentage-wise, but yes, the bulk of our sales are all coming through Amazon's different marketplaces because we have just so many products on there and variations of those products. Um, and Amazon, I mean, again, that's the, the huge advantage here. You're taking advantage and leveraging all the, you know, traffic and customers that they have, which is, uh, you know, amazing. Yeah. So John is asking, when, it, when you say in stock, do you mean in Amazon or in our own warehouse? John, there's no way we would be in this business if we had to do our own warehousing. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, you know, Ryan and Daniel, they travel all over the world, so they, they're pretty much nomads. Um, Los and I have houses you know, in Florida and Reno, but I, for sure our wives wouldn't be happy with us filling our garages full of product. So we send all of our inventory for all of our products from the manufacturer straight into Amazon and let Amazon warehouse the products for us. What else, guys? There's still a bunch of you on the call here, so we're here to have and happy to answer your questions. What else do you guys have questions on? I know we covered a ton of information tonight, so only natural hey if you guys have a bunch of questions. Hey guys, can I just step in here? Um, yeah. I had somebody asking about uh, mine and John's bonus, um, and I just wanted to um, give you a little bit, um, bit more information on that. Um, so basically, what we are offering, you know, apart from uh, the accountability, which is <laughs> it's obviously um, excellent uh, motivation. Um, me, me, myself, uh, and John are both going to go through this, uh, so we'll be able to communicate with people going through it in the same kind of level. There thing you know, and um, but basically we're giving you top level access to all of our digital products, all of mine and all of John's digital products. I mean top level. I mean I'm talking about the, the complete funnels and um, building all of these products as well, not just uh, the front end. But I'm giving you the top level of all of our digital products. That's over 60, I think something like 60 uh, top quality products. Uh, these range from traffic generation, video marketing, affiliate marketing, uh, list building, social media, the loads and loads. Uh, loads and loads of uh, categories there, as well as loads and loads of software tools and apps as well. Yeah, can I just jump in as well there, guys? Um, not only are we going to do that for you guys, we're going to actually give you all of our future products as well. Um, and the thing is, if you're, if you're accountable to us, 
we can maybe pinpoint some of our products that can help you. So uh, depending on what your situation is and what you're trying to do and what you're trying to achieve, we might, we might be able to point you in the right direction to maybe some of our list building stuff uh, or our traffic generation stuff. But just one thing I, I want to point out, guys, you know, what I've learned tonight, I mean, um, you've done $13 million in sales in, in, in 2014, $7 million profit. I think the big thing I want to get across to everyone listening is you guys walk the walk. Um, you know, Ryan and Tanner, <laughs> they're doing it. Um, and, and, you know, maybe maybe you've tried doing different things online. Maybe you've tried whatever it may be, product creation, affiliate marketing, you know, whatever it may be. They, these guys are showing you how they, how they can, how you can do this. And maybe this is the, the, the one thing that, you, you know, just put some time in. You know, give it a couple of months, really, really go for it, and this could be the big thing for you. And, and like I say, me and Dave are going to be accountable. Uh, we can give you personal details. You can communicate with us personally. We are going to go through this training as well. Um, so, you know, you can, you can sort of uh, communicate with us, and hopefully we'll be able to, you know, help you move forward. Yeah, thanks, guys. I really appreciate that. And, you know, um, as, as I mentioned, as I was talking about this, you know, one of the big things – we do walk the walk and you know one of the big reasons that we do this is we really want to be able to help you guys be successful because we want to partner with you you know we want to help you not only take your business to a whole new level but introduce you to whole new concepts and ideas and really get you into additional marketplaces and and onto other channels as well and i mean it all starts here you know it all starts with kind of taking that one step and and, and getting into ecom masters and and really learning this and we wouldn't you know, the both both of us, we wouldn't be doing all of these different things if we didn't have a long-term vision for what we're trying to accomplish. I mean, there's a reason that we've stuck with e-commerce for so long. Is it, in our opinion, it is the best business model for you to be in. It offers so much opportunity, and the the stats don't lie. Consistently, this is just this sector is just growing year after year after year, and the international expansion potential is absolutely insane. I was telling uh, Tanner just before this call, we, uh, one, of, one of our partner brands, we just opened up a new product into uh, another marketplace, actually the UK marketplace, and in less than a week, we're already at a $300, uh, excuse me, 300 pound a day um, run rate for that particular product, which means over 9,000 pounds. And that's because we know how to leverage these other marketplaces as well. And we're going to be teaching you that inside Ecom Masters. And Jeffrey's uh, asking about, you know, how much does Amazon take when you sell your products through Amazon? So when we sell our products on Amazon, uh, we let Amazon FBA do all the work. Amazon takes about 20% roughly of the sale price as their fees. And before you go, oh, man, that's too much, think about what they're doing. They are not only warehousing your product and storing it for you until it sells. When it sells, they pick it from the warehouse, they package it in a box and you know protect it, then they ship it to the customer, they handle the customer service, they process the payment, they handle all the website infrastructure and making it available for your customer to buy, plus everything else with the Amazon brand. And then, like clockwork, every two weeks, they deposit your money into your account like a direct deposit. So it's a heck of a deal in terms of really what you're getting. So yeah, Amazon takes about 20% of the sale price, which is again why we make sure that you source your product right and you price it right and you do the research so that you can actually make a really nice profit margin. Uh, you know, as we were talking about, 40 to 50% is our average profit margin on a product. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Lane is saying that the currency rate is killing right now for us in Canada. Well, you know, and I made a comment there. I mean, what's great about selling on Amazon and other marketplaces is if the currency rate in your country is actually a little bit bad right now, it can actually be a great thing to earn in dollars or to earn in pounds or to earn in, you know, another currency because then you get actually more money when it comes back to you uh, because it's a much stronger currency than your current country. So I always look at that stuff as an opportunity. So it's just the kind of how you look at that. Yeah. And Jeff asks, what about returns? Who is handling that? Guess what? If they don't like the product, they return it to Amazon. Amazon covers it all the way back. And then if the product is damaged, Amazon will even destroy it for you. Or if you want to resell it, they'll put it back in inventory or ship it back to you or whatever you want them to do with it. So it's a full service system that Amazon has right there for you guys. That's one of the biggest advantages of you leveraging Amazon FBA is they do 
I mean, all the heavy lifting for you makes it so easy, and it, it makes it so that this business can be run on a very kind of a part-time basis, and really from anywhere. I mean, we never touch our inventory, never touch returns or anything like that, and Amazon takes care of all that for us. I mean, it'd be real difficult to have every return shipped to the Philippines. <laughs> uh, so, awesome. Cool, guys. Uh, let's see. What other questions do you guys have? Anybody have anything else they want to ask us? We're here for you, so if you've got questions, let us know. Looks like Jeffrey is asking, where do you, where do we buy products from? So, Jeffrey, this was um, what we were talking about in pillar number two, which is all about the sourcing. So, we go into this in incredible detail inside Ecom Masters, but this is where you're leveraging actual suppliers. So, we buy our products from sometimes in China, sometimes the United States, and uh, oftentimes several other countries. It just depends what the niche is and the type of product. And um, you can buy products from all over the world. And there's suppliers all over the world as well that specialize in different things. And we teach you exactly, even more in depth than what we were talking about tonight, on how to find the right suppliers for your particular product. Okay, so I just want to maybe recap the offer real quick and we can get some more questions that are coming in. So again, um, you're getting access to 11 different things right now with Ecom Masters. You're getting access to 60 plus module core curriculum training. You're getting access to our six plus week fully customized workshop recordings, our from zero to seven figures follow along case study. You're getting access to recordings of the in-person mastermind event that we did in Las Vegas, Nevada as well as a you know, feature event that we'll be getting, you know, doing. You'll be getting first mover's advantage for that. We'll be getting access to our four-part VIP access, which includes the partnership program that we talked about, our three layers of support, and in addition to that, you'll be getting our Facebook group. You have the bonuses from us. These are the fast action bonuses for tonight only. This is access to our photographer at a discounted rate. Uh, that's a $497 bonus. Our rapid physical product list building system that's a thousand dollar value and then our bonus number three is the access to our Amazon Rolodex this is all in addition to the two bonuses that are outlined on ecommasters.com forward slash John Dave that John and Dave have put together specifically for you and um, this is over you know twenty six thousand dollars in bonuses there so all you need to do is head over to ecommasters.com forward slash John Dave and Get your lifetime access account set up for either the 997 or the three monthly installment plan. Obviously, the 997 is a discounted price, about 19% discount. Set up your members account, and then you can start your training today. You can get in tonight and start right away. So Jeffrey is asking. Do we negotiate the products for you, or is that something that you source yourself? So, Jeffrey, the great thing about Ecom Masters is we actually teach you all the ins and outs of how to do this yourself so that you're not reliant on us. That means that you can actually go out there and source as many products as often or as fast as you like because we're teaching you a skill set on how to actually do it properly so that you can be well above the others that are out there trying to do it and then you can actually go and implement that yourself. You don't want to have to ever rely on, on you know, other people all the time to do all the things for you. You want to be able to learn and master the skills or hire someone on your team that can help you do those. All right, looks like we can, we'll be wrapping up here in just a few minutes, but this is your last chance. I mean, we've still got a lot of people on here. Obviously, there's a reason you're still on. You're not just hanging out to listen to Tanner and I talk. Um, so if you have questions, now is the chance. Um, you know, if you're, if you're ready to get started, obviously just go to ecommasters.com forward slash John Dave. Join us inside. Get everything set up and start your training right away. But we're here to take just a few more questions if anything else comes up. You know, one thing, Tanner, that we do get a lot of people to ask about is they always want to know, you know, like, if I'm just completely new to this, 
how do we, you know, how do I really get started? Is it is it something that I need specific skills for, or can someone who's completely brand new at this get started? And we can just answer this one question, and kind of wrap it up here. Yeah, that's a good point because yeah, we do get that a lot, and that's one of the cool things about Ecom Masters. We built it with multiple user tracks in terms of where do you start? If you are a straight up beginner, then you start at the build track. If you are at the middle, you kind of you kind of know what you're doing. You're kind of in the middle, then you'd be in the grow track. Like you already have some Amazon stuff selling. And if you already are kicking butt and you really want to take it to that next level, kind of like where we're at, we've got the scale track. The cool thing is, no matter where you're at in your business, there's a place for you to start, and it's hand holding training. A to Z, every step of the way is explained, is taught, is shown exactly how you need to do it. Examples are given. And the cool thing is, is you just progress from one phase to the next as your business grows. So as you grow, the course grows with you. And it's a very, very dynamic way of learning how to build a business from day one all the way on up through expert you know, ninja status. Awesome. Well, appreciate that, Tanner. And, and guys, we just want to say thank you so much for uh, spending your time this evening with us or your morning if you're on this uh, part of the Asia part of the world like myself with us here. We really appreciate it. We value your time. And um, obviously, we want you to get started with us in ecommasters.com forward slash John Dave. We truly believe that this is the right opportunity for you to be involved in right now. This is a business that can stand the test of time. And we're here to help you with the real world experience that we have to build, grow, and scale your actual Amazon FBA business. So with that, I'll wrap it up here. And Tanner, if you have any last words, we can uh, wrap that up as well. Guys, I just want to say again, thank you very much for spending your evening with us. And we hope you got a lot out of it. Save this link because once we close the webinar, if you decide you want in, you don't have the link, it's going to be gone. So ecommasters.com forward slash John and Dave. Or John Dave, not John and Dave. All right, guys, with that, have a great night or morning, depending on where you're at, and we'll see you later. All right, talk to you soon. Bye now.